final bout on the preliminary section of the card. Jimmy Nolan making his return after a hiatus. Hasn't fought since November of 2019. Taking on Oma MMA's Damian McKenna. Four and two. Nolan in the red shorts. McKenna in the black. Jamie Nolan's plan, game plan, all out attack, kill or be killed. Did a good job to slip and catch McKenna with a shot coming. All four of Nolan's wins have come by way of submission. McKenna, a fantastic wrestler in his own right, will need to mind his P's and Q's with the shots. Again, oh, rocked him! Nice head movement and powers of recovery from Nolan. Yeah, he certainly felt that shot. We saw him take a, a stagger backwards. If he, if he wasn't wide awake coming into the cage, he surely is now. Yeah, Damian McKenna doing very well, keeping his boxing fundamentals, keeping everything tidy. And that's Looking to counter that kick with straight shots. That's it, he's not throwing wild, crazy shots. As you say, fundamentals, jab to straight. All very smart and paying dividends so far for him. Yeah, having some success early for sure. Got a deep underhook now. Drags his opponent to the cage. His opponent gets that knee shield up at front. As he said, Nolan has plenty of submission wins on his record. He considers a fight a loss if it goes to the judges' scorecard, even if he comes out the right side of the decision. He wants to finish. So he's a dangerous man once the fight does hit the floor. So let's see if Damian McKenna can get him there. He's certainly pushing. Certainly looking to establish that dominant position. Nolan trying to clamp down heavy on that overhook. McKenna trying to fish it in and try and get those double underhooks. Bit of separation. Cool head on McKenna. This is his seventh fight in eight months. Talk about consistent activity level. And it must be said, yes, he's four and two, but those two losses have come in international IMAF competition. He's undefeated on the island. Yeah, he said he wants to get through this, get the hand raised, and he wants a title shot here in the Cage Legacy Featherweight Division. Certainly having some early success here. It's that blanket style. It's Again, we said it in previous fights, it may not look like a lot's going on right now in these positions, but it is the most draining aspect of mixed martial arts. Yeah, when your opponent has you pinned to the fence and they're, they're ooh, groin shot, groin strike, that'll give, us a, that'll give them a little bit of a breather. But that was a full impact groin strike. I wonder if we'll get to see a replay of that. The, the thing with the, the groin shot is, it's, it's like when you're driving past a car crash. Yeah. You shouldn't look, but you can't help rubbernaking a wee bit. It's one of the, it's, it's shadden for it, isn't it? It's taking joy in somebody else's misfortune, because we've all had it. We all know how debilitating and horrible it is, but... Yeah, it's one of those things, you watch it through your fingers and you wince, but uh, he's certainly in a lot of distress here. He's going to need a couple of minutes, I think, to get over this one. Does have the full five minutes with which to recover. As I was saying, when we're up against the fence, it's exhausting when your opponent is leaning his weight on you. He's got that inside control position on your upper body and he's landing shots. There's no way out. It's, uh, it's something that saps your gas tank pretty fast. And the, the, if there is an advantage to be taken from a groin shot, you're restarted in the open form of the map. Beautiful trip from McKenna. He finds himself in top position right now. Yeah, Nolan trying to establish a little bit of a 50-50 position from the bottom, but not very successful. McKenna gets himself out of that danger, and he's landing kicks from the top. Probably an to ride right out the round in this top position, landing a couple of kicks just to give his opponent something to think about going into round two. <laughs> Jamie Nolan certainly looking like he's having a, a tough time recovering from all the activity of round one. Uh, by activity, you of course mean that shot to the groin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm barely recovered myself <laughs> from that, with watching that. Again, McKenna showing the air of a man who's been competing extremely regularly. He looks calm. Yeah, if you think about it, since Jamie Nolan has competed, the 
Amy McKenna has competed six times. This is his seventh fight, as you've alluded to. So, again, it's very much like we said in the arm ball Carl Byrne fight. Nothing can replicate that genuine cage time. Yeah, you got to get into a rhythm, get comfortable with the, the whole mental side of preparing to step into battle in a cage under the lights. A little bit of separation, Ryan. It seems to be the cardio is starting to incrementally play a little bit of a part. And not necessarily the cardio, the fight IQ, the fight acumen. The, yeah. Is there a little bit of an impediment to the back foot here of Jimmy Nolan? He looked there to stumble on the foot ever so slightly. Yeah, it could be happening. There's been a few leg kicks have landed so far. And McKenna in again, deep. Underhook, hands are connected. Got good head position. Will he get the fight to the floor this time? Does he want to get the fight to the floor with a, a grappler with good submissions on his record? Or does he want to just keep him here? Continue to land dirty boxing, continue to land damage. And it seems to me that McKenna's playing the long game yeah. in this fight. Initiating the clinch, dragging Nolan into the deep waters of the fight that he hasn't been in since November of 2019. Yeah, there's a tired attempt there at Anucci Mata from, uh, from Nolan. Certainly looks like he's feeling the effects. Nice head positioning there from McKenna. McKenna just dominating in the grappling exchanges, showing just how much of a solid wrestler he is. And, and that wrestling base really has become a hallmark of the only MMA guys. Yeah, we're seeing it time and time again, and it's being used with great effect here. It's such a fundamental aspect in mixed martial arts. It's usually he who controls the wrestling, controls where the fight takes place. Yeah, and there it is. There's our finish. Has the referee called the finish here? Or is that, yeah, the fighter's gone down.